Hello friends, welcome to this practical course on Stratco software. In the previous lecture, we added the seismic data to our structure and we also added the seismic weight of the structure with the help of reference load definitions. In this lecture, I will show you how to add the earthquake loads in order to perform linear static analysis or the equivalent static method. As per IS1893 part 1 2016 code, we can perform linear static analysis only for those structures which are situated in zone 2 and the height of the structure should be less than or equal to 15 meters. So since our building is situated in zone 3 and the height of the building is more than 15 meters, so we cannot perform linear static analysis for our structure. However, in this lecture, I will show you how to add the earthquake loads for performing linear static analysis as well. So first of all, click on the load case details and click on add. Select the loading type as seismic and give the title as EQX plus. That means earthquake in the positive x direction and click on add. As you can see that EQX plus has been added in the load case details. Similarly, add the next load as EQ X negative and click on add. Now the next load will be EQ Z positive that means earthquake in the positive Z direction and click on add. The next load will be EQ Z negative and click on add. As you can see that we have added the earthquake loads from all the four directions. Now let's add dead load and live load as well. So give the title as dead load, select the loading type as dead and click on add. Now select the type as live, give the title as ll and click on add. Please note that though you added the loads in the dead loads and live loads in the reference load definitions. You must add the load, dead loads and live loads again in the load case details as well. And one more thing is that whenever you are adding the loads in the load case details, the first load that you should add should be always the earthquake loads. So after adding dead load and live load, let's add the loads for the wind load as well. So select the type as wind and Give the title as WLX positive that means wind load from positive x direction and click on add. Now the next load will be WLX negative and click on add. Next one will be WLZ positive and click on add. And the last one will be WLZ negative and click on add and click on close. So we have added four earthquake loads. Then we have dead load and live load and then we have wind load in all the four directions. Now first of all select the earthquake load EQX positive and click on add. Now select seismic loads. The direction will be x direction and the factor will be 1 since the load is acting in positive x direction and click on add and click on close. So EQX positive load case has been added. Now let's add earthquake load in the EQX negative direction. So select EQX negative and click on add. Select seismic loads. Now this time select the factor as minus one since the load is acting in negative X direction and click on add. Now select EQZ positive, click on add, select seismic loads. The direction here will be Z direction, factor will be 1 and click on add. Similarly select EQZ negative, select seismic loads. The direction will be Z direction and the factor will be minus 1 and click on add and click on close. So this is how we will add the loads 
or quick routes in order to perform the linear static analysis. Now coming to dead load and live load, click on the dead load and click on add. Now select repeat load option. In the repeat load select reference loads. Now double click on dead load. The factor will be 1 and click on add and click on close. So that's how we add the dead loads in load case details. We simply call the dead loads with the help of reference load definitions. So let's repeat the similar procedure for live load as well. So select the live load case and click on add. Go to repeat load and then go to reference loads. Double click on live load and double click on live load on roof as well. Click on add and click on close. In the next lecture we will add the wind loads. So we will perform the calculations for the wind loads and we will add the wind pressure in these four loads. So guys that's all for this video. You can like, share and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future update. See you in the next video.